All right, guys. So as promised, we are back with part two of our Beginner's Guide to Diamond Dynasty, Beginner's Guide to MLB The Show, um, where we're talking about online play in Diamond Dynasty, okay? So that'll be the focus. We'll talk about a couple other things that I didn't cover in the first video, but the focus today is going to be, uh, for the focus for this video, is going to be online modes. So um, I highly recommend you watch my first video first, uh, talking about single player modes. <coughs> Excuse me. Because uh, some of what I say might not make a lot of sense if you didn't see that first video. Uh, but just real quick, if you haven't, um, this is where you manage your squad. Of course, you want kind of want to use your best squad for your online play. Um, and so there's a few different ways to play online. First, ranked seasons. That's where you uh, play along this progression. So you play someone else online in a nine-inning game, Okay. Nine inning game, so it does take about forty-five minutes or so to play a nine inning game. Um, but you play that game, and you—if you win, you earn points. See how my current rating is sixty? I've actually played one game, um, and I earned sixty points because I won it. You can see uh, my record somewhere. I think uh, wins this season is one. If you get five wins, you unlock this reward: ten wins, fifteen, and so on and so forth. If you get forty. Um, Ranked seasons wins in the season. See, the season ends 5:17 at 6 p.m. up in the right-hand corner. If you get 40 wins before that date, you get this pack. It's a World Series reward pack. Three players in it: Prince Fielder, Ryan Sandberg, Nolan Ryan. All decent players. I'll probably go with uh, Prince Fielder just because he hasn't been in the game before. Could be kind of fun to play with him. So that's one way to earn rewards. Second way to earn rewards is get your rank all the way up to 900 you get that same pack if you get your rank up to 900 of course um if you lose games you lose rank points so it can be a little trickier um so but i really like that new addition this year where they used to just have the rating but now you can get win rewards too so that's the um first online mode rank seasons you use your own diamond diamond dynasty team um as i just showed you you can use all your best players if you want and that's kind of how you uh, make your way to the top there now, Battle Royale. I'll actually um, forfeit this entry to show you guys what a Battle Royale um, team would look like. So after each Battle Royale, you can earn rewards. I only had three wins that run, so we only get the three win reward plus a pack. Let's open that pack, actually. Oh, no, let's not open that pack. We'll talk about that later. So to enter, it's 1,500 stubs, okay? But... Um, you can play with any cards in the game. So see how in the upper left-hand corner, I have two diamond picks, three gold picks, nine silvers, 10 bronzes, and two commons. Every single person in this mode is going to use this. If you've played um, FIFA before, it's a lot like foot draft. You draft a player for every position, same thing here. So I haven't used this Jackie Robinson too much, but I think I'm actually gonna go with the Ernie Banks. 92 fielding as well as a power above 90 on both sides, it's crazy. Um, in Battle Royale, power is king. You'll notice I'm drafting a lot of people with some crazy power. Um, if there's nobody great in a round, I might draft a starting pitcher. pitcher pitching isn't as important um, in this game mode as in some others. Posada catcher could be interesting, but Joey Gallo in the outfield is just an absolute monster. Um, and so you draft your whole team. Ooh, Jaron Duran. See, he doesn't have enough power, so he's just not that good in this game, as sad as that is. Lewin Diaz has a good power against righties, but Cliff Floyd's got good power against both sides. Uh, so I think I'll go with, with Cliff. Um, and so, yeah, so you go through, draft your team. You draft every single position on your team, all 26 spots. Uh, I like Lorenzen. And you'll notice that, like, you'll start liking some players uh, uh, more than others. Like, look at this CJ Crone. Crushes lefties. So let's get him in the game. Um, so you, you'd play through, and then you can actually play. Um play your games if you win 12 games um you actually get this awesome battle royale pack which i'll show in a second uh adalavia is not bad adavia sorry um amir garrett you want some lefties in the bullpen definitely um to come in and kind of combat your opponent's lefties um i try and go starting pitcher with both of my commons if i can um, I actually like Joey Lucchese in this game, so we'll take him, even though he just got option to AAA, I think. I think he'll be back, though. Um, another guy who crushes lefties, but then we got Tommy Canely over here. He's honestly not that good. Um, you'll notice, um, see how, like, some of them have that, like, kind of plus? We talked about that inside edge bonus in the last video. S excuse me. So he crushes righties even more. Let's just go with him. 
Let's go with AJ Pollock in center field. Uh, Travis Darno. Oh, Kella. I like Keanu Kella. He's got a really good curveball this year. Jake Diekman. We got a lefty in the bullpen. Awesome. Now, really, I'm looking for like one more lefty in the pen. Uh, I don't really like these two choices, so we'll go with David Robertson. Um, okay, now we got a gold round. Now we have Salvador Perez. That could be a really good um, spot. Bo Naylor doesn't have the power. Cronenworth doesn't have the power, so we'll go with Salvador Perez for our catcher spot there. That's our last gold. Aaron Bummer is our last lefty. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, we'll go with Jemai Jones. Decent power against lefties, but we're already crushing lefties pretty good, so we'll take our last... Um, one there. Logan Forsythe crushes lefties again. But we don't really have another great option there. So we'll take Forsythe. And then we can draft actually our bench as well. So for my bench, I'm looking for like really big platoon splits or some decent speed. Unfortunately, nobody good here. So I'll take a backup catcher since nobody else was good. Uh, in case we need like pinch run or something. Now Jed Jerko could work at... Actually, DJ Stewart's got good power versus right. We'll take Jerko. Um... This, this lineup's like lacking lefties a little bit, so in this case we'll take, even though Hunter Renfro's great, I'm going to take Brandon Belt, um, because if I have a pinch hitting opportunity where I need a lefty to come in against a righty, I'd rather take him. Uh, unfortunately, nothing too major going on in that round, and then our last round. We'll take uh, Justin Upton. He's got that crazy power over soul side. So, so that's a battle royale draft. Now, this team is not that good. Um, I might actually redraft this team or play a couple of games. But you get win streak rewards. So if I get three wins, I get a Lorenzo Kane. If I get six wins, I get an 80 to 84 player and so on and so forth. If you get 12 in, uh, wins with zero losses, you get a 12 and 0 BR flawless reward. And in that pack which you can also get this way by earning BR points. We talked a lot about these progressions um, in previous videos as well. You can get a uh, Vlad Guerrero Sr., uh, a Mike Schmidt, a Tom Seaver, a Lou Brock, or a Billy Wagner. Um, all these would be available in that pack that you get at 50 BR points. Now to get there, you can win one BR game. That's one point. You go 12 and 0, that's 20 points, plus all the points you'd win along the way. There's also stat missions, and then there's um, stat missions with particular players. Like we uh, drafted that Logan Forsyth. Um, I already tallied seven hits with him in Battle Royale games. And again, these are BR only. Uh, you can earn B, uh, three BR points for doing that. So that's how you earn Battle Royale points. Very popular mode. Um, and if you want to make stubs, this is the way to go. Because you play BR, You if you can win 12 games, you get a nine win diamond and a 12 win diamond. So you could you could potentially get like Francisco Lindor and Jacob deGrom in the same draft. You could get um, Corey Seager and Cody Bellinger in the same draft just by winning some games. So um, it's pretty cool you forfeit your entry over there if you'd like um, to redraft. But remember it does cost 1,500 coins every time or stubs. Sorry, that stubs are the in-game currency. Uh, I know I haven't really talked about that enough. Uh, but you see top left, just below my name, I have 11,000 subs. That's the in-game currency. And we'll talk about that when we get to the market a little bit. Um, this is events. So events aren't always there. But when they are, um, they have a, a certain uh, requirement. So, for example, this event is Welcome to the Show, Part 1. Okay, American League pitchers, National League hitters. Okay, So you can put together a team of your own owned Diamond Dynasty cards. So I have... A bunch of American League pitchers here. Um, I want to get a lefty in there actually for Maeda. And you can kind of create your team. You create your rotation, your lineup, your bench. Um, and once you do that, you can hit start and then um, play with this team. Now see this, te this team exceeds the event restrictions. So it needs to only be 85 overall. It will only show you players that are allowed to get put in, so don't worry about that. But it does need to be a little bit lower overall before I can make that team. Once I do, I can play three inning games. Um, in this case, it's on All-Star. And you're able to um, earn wins. Every win you get puts you along this progression. Again, this progression idea is very popular in MLB The Show. So once you move along this progression, you can earn cards like this John Smoltz card. Um, is going for what's he going for now? Oh, he's he bumped way up. He's going for almost uh, over 30k now. Oh no, he got way down again. Um, so 16k for him, but you can also earn this Miguel Cabrera as well as a bunch of other uh, rewards along the way. What's he going for nowadays? Uh, 70 62,000 sell now. So you know, well worth it to try and get 40 wins in this game mode. Uh, you get some snazzy uniforms along the way, some packs, of course. Um, 
So events are really kind of a fun way to play with your squad, where everyone's kind of on a level playing field, sort of like Battle Royale. Play versus friends, of course, uh, something I might try out if any of my friends decide to get MLB The Show, um, and I'll uh, I'll be playing for uh, against them as well. And then, of course, a casual mode, which is the same as ranked seasons, but it's not ranked, um, so you can just play online in nine inning games. Now, I talked a little bit about collections. Um, there are more collections than just the live series, but you can collect um, and get rewards on a bunch of different cards. Just remember, if you collect a card, um, it's non-sellable. You keep the card, you can still use it in events or ranked seasons or whatever, or offline, um, but you can't actually sell it again. So now let's go to the shop. Marketplace, this is where you buy and sell MLB players. You can put in orders for players. So. I have 11,000 subs. I can't buy Mike Trout, right? He's 300 and whatever thousand subs. It's insane. Um, but I might. let's say I might want to buy... Do, 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 do. Let's, uh, let's look here. Who's a player I might want that's going for a reasonable price? Adam Duvall, right? Um, well, uh, actually, let's go with somebody else. Wow, these diamonds are still wicked expensive. It's crazy. Um, let's see. Okay, some of them are starting to come down. This Aaron Nola stinks, apparently. <laughs> Look how low his price is compared to some of the others. Um, so if I want to put a buy in or, uh, order in for a player, let's say, let's say I want to put a buy order in for just like a low gold here. Um, Edwin Diaz. Well, I already have Edwin Diaz. <laughs> this is a terrible example. Um, Lord Escuriel, okay? So I want to buy Lord Escuriel. Now, I could buy him right now for 1316. So somebody's put up an order and they said, I will sell you this Lord Escuriel for 1,316 stubs. Or somebody says, I can, um, I'll create a buy order and I would like to buy him at 1,020 stubs. Look, my buy order has gone over now on the sell side. Someone who packs a Lord of Scoriel could choose to sell him to me right away for 1,020 stubs, okay? Um, and so that's kind of how the marketplace works. It's a little bit complicated to get used to at first, but eventually you will get used to it. So like, let's say I'll open a pack now and see if we get anything good. No, nope, all bronze players. But this guy here, let's say I could list him for a buy order and go wait around until somebody actually buys him from me. Or I could sell them right now for that 31 coins. So someone just went in and posted, a, just like we did for Lord of Guriel, we said, oh, 1,020 coins. If we had packed a Guriel, that's what would be showing up right now. But instead, for Tyson Miller, somebody said, I'll pay 31 coins for that. You know what? I agree. I'll sell them. <laughs> and it already got filled by somebody else. That's why it's not there anymore. But I could also list him on the marketplace for a little bit more than that. He'll probably go for like 77. Eventually, someone will come along and buy him. Okay. So that's kind of how the marketplace works a little bit. So going back to our team um, team uh, affinity work, um, this is some additional um, coins that we, or packs that we've gotten from our team affinity. See that Tyson Miller just sold in the upper left-hand corner? Same thing with this Strowman. Now, if I wait and list these later, I could probably get even better prices. Um, but let's say I want to sell this one now for 25 stubs, I sell them. But this one, I want a quick sell. So I just get rid of them for 25 stubs as well and he's just discarded doesn't exist anymore um so these two i'll probably wait and like sell because i can sell them for a little bit more later um so i'll just wait on those dudes so same thing oh so somebody just i just bought that lord of scurial so somebody packed him and said oh i'll sell him for 1020 stubs and we just got him so that's pretty cool same thing here with these guys um these are all duplicates because i already own these collections and i'll just sell these guys on eventually now, this one's from the Team Affinity. This has these finest um, 40, or sorry, not finest, the 42 series players in there. Now, you'll notice, if I click open pack, that I already have a Dom Smith. See how it has the green one times, or times one? I already have most of these guys. I'm gonna take Patrick Corbin with this round, and then I'm only ever gonna get one more pack of that um, to be able to get that last player. Now, all of those guys are unsellable as well, so you can't buy and sell them. Now, of course, you can't always buy stubs. I wouldn't recommend it because this is actually a game where you can flip on the marketplace and actually earn a lot of stubs. If you guys are interested in uh, hearing about how to make stubs on the marketplace, I can make a dedicated video to that. I just want to give a brief overview of how to buy and sell players in this video. So again, this is mostly about online modes. If anybody has any questions about online modes, please let me know. One more thing I want to talk about is every card this year 
earned stats, and those stats um, kind of translate to parala uh, parallels. So if you're into real card collecting at all, you'll know that some, some cards have parallels, right? So uh, if let's say there's a Francisco Lindor base set card. It would just look totally normal. But then you could also get like a green Francisco Lindor card, and that's like first level parallel. The higher the parallel, the less they made of that card, the more valuable the card is. Same thing is working here. So let's look at my Francisco Lindor, and I go over to the parallels tab with, our, uh, with R1 here. 8,927 people earned the green parallel. And you earn that by getting stats. It explains it down in this little corner here. You get 10 stats per uh, 10 uh, PXP, which is parallel XP. Per plate appearance, a 5 for a single, 10 for a double, 20 for a triple, and a homer. Uh, you get it for stolen bases and walks as well. I was the 2087th person to earn that 500 PXP and earn that Francisco Lindor uh, green parallel, right? I was the 779th to get him orange. I was the 832nd to get him purple. And only 221 have them red, and only five people have the Super Fractor parallel. Now, it takes uh, quite a bit to get to the Super Fractor parallel. It's not like... Uh, linear. That's a huge, huge grind. Um, so congrats to the people who have done that. But the reason you want to get these, in addition to just it being super cool to have like, you know, a one, uh, the, like being the first person to get it somewhere. Um, you also get plus three parallel ast attribute boost active. So on every card you get a parallel on, you get the corresponding amount of stats um, added to that card. So this is actually already added to the card. Francisco Lindor's original stats are actually less. Um, for example, Mike Piazza, Parallel 1, has a plus 1 attribute boost to all of these um, stats. So it's pretty cool to kind of like use some players, progress with those players, um, and really enjoy them even more. So, All right, guys. So that will probably do it for this video. I think I've talked about everything we need to talk about so far. Um, of course, live content always is going on in the show. I'll probably try and cover some of that live content with news videos. Um, the show is probably going to be the main... Um, kind of uh, video source going on right now not going to be a ton of FIFA just not really into it right now um, but might might go back to some 2k if you guys um, are interested in that um, but the show is probably going to be kind of the main source of videos going forward so if you guys have things that you know you're interested in watching um, that you're curious about I'm happy to explain them um, my job is actually being a teacher so I'd like to think I'm pretty good at explaining things um, but uh, but if there's anything I missed here or in the last video go ahead and let me know. Videos will be coming on Road to the Show and March to October and Franchise as well, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but for now, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Say goodbye to your life. Turn the